I used to play basketball. So it was one day, I'm walking by, I said, and I seen this guy, he hitting the ball. He's going like this, going like that. Can you teach me that? He said, yeah, I can teach you, but you gotta work hard at this. You gotta be here every day at eight in the morning. If you're not, then I can't teach you. So I had to do it every day since I was 10. money in it so I said well let me go promote it and see if I could you know get it to that status now it's to that status but I don't get no recognition in New York you know I'm the one that invented A and B because there was no such thing as that type of game that's like an A player which is a player that gets a card like I have and a B player that's trying to get that card that I have so you team them together so it makes it even because nobody wants to go up against two A players because they know they ain't got a chance. So you break it down, you put a weaker player with a greater player. So it makes it a good combination. And I got no recognition for that. So I know you already told Pat, but tell me the story of it. As you're... What do you mean? The story how I got this card? Explain to me what it is. This... It's when you reach the peak of your talent and you're one of the top players in this game. That was just crazy right there. This is certified and you only could get this in New York. That was 17. And that's my name right there, BJ Flood. I'm one of the top five in my time in the world. You want? You want? Go sit on the bench. I've been playing since I was 13. Um, I got in handball because I was playing basketball all over the city. And then one day, I go by third in Cumberland, try to get next because there was no basketball, and they uh, treated me like I didn't have next. After a while, I got mad. Noticing that they didn't want me to play, so that's how I got into it. I got started practicing every day. All day, oh! that's all. 50-year-old man beating you like this. Oh, my God. In, in high school, they never had handball. But at the old Edison High School, I was the first person to win the doubles tournament. We didn't have official handball trophies. So they gave me a trophy and they cut the tennis racket off the guy's hand. So the little handle looked like a ball in his hand. That was the first official handball trophy in Philadelphia. And I, I won second place with my partner. for the young boys, and that's it. That's why I'm here. This is my, this my house right here. It's my main court. You catch me here every day. Every day. After work, I come here. You know, and I sponsor a lot of things. Do a lot of tournaments. I might do a big one this year, but I'm not sure yet. But I have my own things that I do. Just for one day a week, Tuesday, I'm with the kids. I want them to, to stop thinking about selling drugs or, or robbing right. people. So it's right. a couple of hours no a, a week 
You could be with me, play handball, and have fun. No, that was out. That Pay was out. $6. Zach, it was out. I ain't going to lie. Winner take all. No, it was out. I saw it. That's it. That's I, I what I do. Laughing at him. He's laughing at you. Ah, get up.